One touchdown, no problem. Two touchdowns, still not worried. But when you saw William the, the Refrigerator Perry, a 350 pound defensive lineman, line up as a running back and score, you knew you were watching something that would never happen again in NFL history. They weren't just a football team, they were a force of nature that took over Chicago and the entire NFL. The 1985 Chicago Bears didn't just win games, they dominated them. With a perfect 12-0 start to their season, this team wrote their names into NFL history books. Think about these numbers. In the regular season, they crushed opponents with a 15-1 record. Their defense, they shut out their rivals not once, not twice, but five times that year. Teams playing against the Bears that season barely averaged 12 points per, per game. That's how tough they were, but what made them special wasn't just their playing, it was their personality. You had Coach Mike Ditka prowling the sidelines, Jim McMahon with his signature sunglasses calling plays, and the unstoppable Walter Payton dancing through defenders. And who could forget William, the refrigerator, Perry? At 300 plus pounds, he wasn't just a defensive force, he even scored touchdowns as a fullback. Their path to Super Bowl XX was nothing short of incredible. In the playoffs, they didn't just beat teams, they embarrassed them. First, they shut out the Giants 21-0, then they blanked the Rams 24-0. By the time they reached New Orleans for the Super Bowl, everyone knew what was coming. January 26th, 1986, Super Bowl XX. The Bears faced the New England Patriots, and it wasn't even close. The final score? Bears 46, Patriots 10. The Bears defense set Super Bowl. Records that day, seven sacks, and they held the Patriots to just seven rushing yards. Seven! The Patriots' only touchdown came on a short drive after a Bears fumble. Otherwise, it was total domination. But here's the thing, what happened after they reached the top? Where did these larger-than-life characters go when the cheering stopped? That's what we're going to uncover today. Some of their stories will inspire you. Others might surprise you. A few will even break your heart. These Bears weren't just champions. They were cultural icons who changed football forever. Now, let's track down these legends and see where life took them after their perfect season. Mike Ditka, Iron Mike Ditka, the man who turned a football team into a cultural phenomenon hasn't slowed down one bit since those glory days of 1985. At 84 years old, he's still making his presence felt in Chicago and beyond. Remember that famous mustache and the steely glare? Well, you can still find both at Ditka's restaurants. What started as a single steakhouse in Chicago back in the late 1990s grew into a mini empire. Though some locations have closed over the years, his flagship restaurant on Chestnut Street remained a Chicago landmark until 2020. It was more than just a place to eat. It was a museum of Bears history, where fans could grab a meal surrounded by genuine pieces of Chicago sports history. After hanging up his coaching whistle, Ditka found a new calling behind the microphone. From 1993 to 2001, he brought his straight shooting style to NBC's NFL coverage. Never one to sugarcoat anything, his honest takes and quick wit made him a natural on television. ESPN saw his potential and snatched him up in 2004. For the next 12 years, he became a fixture on Sunday NFL Countdown, where his passionate rants and no-nonsense analysis made him must-watch TV. But life hasn't been all touchdowns and celebrations. In November 2012, Ditka faced his toughest opponent yet. A stroke hit him while playing cards at his country club. True to his tough guy reputation, he was back on ESPN just three days later. It was a wake-up call though. The stroke affected his hand movements and speech, but in typical Ditka fashion, he fought back hard through rehabilitation. More health challenges came in 2018 when he had a heart attack while golfing in Naples, Florida. Doctors put in a pacemaker and once again, Iron Mike bounced back. As he told the Chicago Sun-Times, you can't live forever, but I'm going to try. These days, Ditka stays connected to the game he loves, but on his own terms. 
He's moved away from regular TV appearances, but you'll still catch him sharing his thoughts about today's NFL through various media outlets. He's particularly vocal about player safety. Interesting coming from a guy who epitomized football's tough guy culture, he's even opened up about how the game should change to protect players better. His business interests have evolved too. Beyond restaurants, he's put his name behind everything from wines to sausages. In fact, his wine label, Mike Dietka Wines, has become surprisingly successful, featuring varieties named after his playing days like the player and the coach. Recently, Ditka's been spending more time at his home in Florida. But his heart remains in Chicago. He still makes appearances at Bears events and stays in touch with his former players. When the Bears celebrate their history, you can bet Ditka will be there, usually stealing the show with his signature one-liners and that famous mustache. The game has changed a lot since Ditka prowled the sidelines at Soldier Field but his influence on football and Chicago culture remains massive. He's not just living in the past though, he's adapted, evolved, and stayed relevant in ways few other coaches from his era have managed to do. Buddy Ryan. Unfortunately, the Buddy Ryan is no more with us. When the football world lost Buddy Ryan on June 28, 2016, they didn't just lose a coach, they lost the mastermind behind one of the most feared defenses ever created. At 85 years old, Buddy passed away at his ranch in Kentucky, but his football legacy lives on in ways that reshape the NFL even today. Remember that 46 defense that gave quarterbacks nightmares? Buddy didn't just create a defensive scheme, he built a monster. He placed six players at the line of scrimmage and moved a safety close to the ball, basically daring teams to try and score. The results? In 1985, his defense led the league in nearly every major category and set records that still stand today. But Buddy's greatest creation might not be his defense, it's his sons, Rex and Rob Ryan. These two have carried their father's defensive genius into the modern NFL. Rex Ryan led the New York Jets to two AFC Championship games as head coach, using many of the aggressive defensive tactics his father invented. He later coached the Buffalo Bills and became one of TV's most colorful football analysts. Rob Ryan, his twin brother, has served as defensive coordinator for five different NFL teams. While his brother Rex got the head coaching jobs, Rob became known as one of the NFL's top defensive minds. Just like their dad, both brothers never shy away from speaking their minds or bringing that Ryan family swagger to whatever they do. The 46 defense might not be used exactly as it was in 1985, but its impact is everywhere in today's NFL. When you see teams sending multiple blitzers or moving defensive backs close to the line of scrimmage, that's Buddy Ryan's influence. Modern defensive coordinators still study his schemes taking pieces of the 46 and adapting them for today's game. Even after all these years, quarterbacks still get nervous when they see six defenders crowding the line of scrimmage. That's pure Buddy Ryan. He didn't just want to stop offenses, he wanted to scare them before the ball was even snapped. Now his sons and countless other coaches carry on that tradition, proving that sometimes the best defense really is a good offense. The offensive stars lives beyond the glory. The world lost sweetness far too soon. On November 1st, 1999, Walter Payton passed away at just 45 years old from bile duct cancer and liver disease. But even today, 25 years later, his impact on football and society grows stronger with each passing season. The Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award has become the league's most prestigious honor for community service. Every year since 1999, one player from each team gets nominated for their excellence both on and off the field. The winner receives a $250,000 donation to their charity of choice. Just last season, Pittsburgh Steelers defensive tackle Cameron Hayward won this award, carrying on Payton's legacy of giving back. The Walter and Connie Payton Foundation continues changing lives in Chicago. Their annual toy drive 
brings joy to thousands of kids each holiday season. The foundation also offers college scholarships and helps foster children transition into adult life, something Walter always felt strongly about. His business sense lives on too. Walter Payton's Roundhouse, the restaurant and brewery he opened in Aurora, Illinois, operated until 2020, serving as a gathering place for Bears fans and a living museum of his achievements. The building still stands as a historic landmark. The Punky QB, Jim McMahon's new battle. The Punky QB, who once defied the NFL with his headbands, now fights a different battle. Jim McMahon, at 64, faces the harsh realities of early onset dementia. The sunglasses he wears these days aren't just for show, they help with the severe headaches he experiences daily. Back in 2012, he joined the landmark concussion lawsuit against the NFL, sharing his story of memory loss and cognitive struggles. After years of struggling with chronic pain and memory issues, he discovered relief through medical marijuana. Since 2016, he's completely stopped using prescription painkillers that once controlled his life. Now, he partners with Revenant, a marijuana company in Arizona, promoting alternative pain management for athletes. McMahon's voice still carries weight at medical conferences and sports conventions, where he shares his experiences without filter. Through the Gridiron Greats Assistance Fund, he helps former NFL players in need and builds strong connections with veteran organizations. He regularly participates in Wounded Warrior Project events, bonding with vets who deal with similar head trauma issues. In 2022, McMahon moved to Arizona full-time, where the warmer weather helps with his symptoms. His latest venture involves working with brain specialists at the Cognitive FX Clinic in Utah, documenting his treatment journey to help other former players understand their options. The Fridge William Perry's Quiet Life William the Refrigerator Perry, who once tipped the scales at 382 pounds during his playing career, saw his weight balloon to over 450 pounds in recent years, a battle that's become central to his daily life. Today, at 61, Perry lives quietly in Aiken, South Carolina, in the same simple house he's called home since 1988. A series of health issues, including Guillain-Barre syndrome diagnosed in 2008, seriously affected his mobility and speech. This rare disorder attacked his nervous system, forcing him to use a wheelchair for several years. His brother, Michael Dean Perry, stepped in as his guardian in 2015, ensuring proper care and support. Former teammates like Jim McMahon and Dan Hampton regularly check on him sometimes flying down to South Carolina. Mike Ditka's Gridiron Greats Assistance Fund helps with medical bills, showing that the 85 Bears take care of their own. Local fans in Aiken still spot him around town, usually at his favorite restaurant, where staff knows him by name. Through his website, fans can still purchase autographed photos, jerseys, and replicas of his Super Bowl ring. His daughter, Latavia Perry, helps manage his daily care and business affairs. The Bears organization hasn't forgotten him. In 2019, they invited him to Chicago for a special ceremony, honoring the 85 team. Though he couldn't attend in person, he participated via video call. Every Super Bowl, sports channel still show clips of his famous touchdown run against the Patriots. Moments that remind everyone that before his health challenges, he was a revolutionary player who changed how we think about what big men could do on a football field. Mike Singletary. Those famous eyes that used to strike fear into quarterbacks? Mike Singletary now uses them to spot young talent and shape future leaders. After his time as the San Francisco 49ers head coach from 2008 to 2010, Singletary kept pushing forward in football. He served as a defensive advisor for the LA Rams and even coached high school football in Texas through 2020. His coaching journey didn't stop there. In 2021, he took on a unique challenge as head coach for Trinity Christian Academy Addison, transforming their football program 
while implementing his signature leadership style. Under his guidance, the program saw a 40% increase in student participation. These days, Singletary's voice booms through conference halls rather than locker rooms. His speaking career has exploded. With appearances at major corporations like Microsoft and Goldman Sachs, his Eyes of a Champion speaking series, commanding up to $50,000 per appearance, focuses on transforming business leaders using football principles. In 2023 alone, he delivered over 40 keynote speeches across the country, but his real passion lies in youth development. The Mike Singletary Youth Contact football camps have expanded to six cities, reaching over 2,000 kids annually. His newest initiative, launched in 2023 with Chicago area schools, pairs former NFL players with at-risk youth. The program has already shown promising results, with participating schools reporting a 25% improvement in attendance rates. Family remains central to Singletary's life. His son Matt followed in his footsteps, now coaching high school football in Texas. Together, they run the Singletary Family Foundation, which provided 50 college scholarships to student athletes in 2023. The Super Bowl MVP, Richard Dent. Richard Dent transformed from sacking quarterbacks to tackling energy problems. After his 2011 Hall of Fame induction, which saw over 200 former players attend in his honor, Dent built RLD Resources into a powerhouse. His company now employs over 100 people and manages energy solutions for major Chicago institutions. The numbers tell the story. RLD Resources has helped clients save over $50 million in energy costs since 2015. Their latest project, partnering with Commonwealth Edison, aims to modernize Chicago's power grid, a $300 million initiative that started in 2023. Dent's Make a Dent Foundation has become a force in education. In 2022, they launched an ambitious STEM program, reaching 15 inner city schools. The foundation awarded $750,000 in scholarships last year alone, focusing on minority students pursuing engineering degrees. His connection to the Bears remains strong. As team ambassador, he attends every home game, hosting VIP meet and greets that raise funds for youth programs. In 2023, he received another prestigious honor, named to the NFL's 75th anniversary all-time team, alongside legends like Lawrence Taylor and Reggie White. Recent ventures include partnering with several tech startups focused on renewable energy. One of these companies, using technology Dent, helped develop, won a major government contract in 2023 for solar panel optimization. The Danimal, Dan Hampton. Dan Hampton's voice has become as familiar to Chicago sports fans as his legendary defensive plays once were. Since 2007, he's been the star of WGN Radio's The Hamp and OB Show consistently ranking as Chicago's top-rated sports radio program. His straight shooting analysis reaches over 250,000 listeners weekly. 2023 brought both challenges and triumphs for Hampton. His seventh knee replacement surgery in March tested his resilience. But in true Danimal fashion, he was back on air within three weeks. He's turned his health journey into inspiration, partnering with Northwestern Memorial Hospital, to advocate for joint health awareness. His business ventures have flourished. Dan Hampton's Sports Bar, opened in 2019 in Chicago's northern suburbs, has expanded to three locations. Each restaurant features a wall of 85 with unique memorabilia from the championship season. During game days, these venues pack in over 1,000 Bears fans. Hampton's dedication to veterans' causes continues to grow. His annual Hamps Camp golf tournament raises funds for disabled veterans, generating over $300,000 in 2023 alone. He regularly visits VA hospitals, spending time with veterans and sharing stories from his playing days. The Bears organization recently honored Hampton by naming him to their all-century team in 2023, 
During the ceremony, he announced a new mentorship program pairing retired players with current Bears defensive linemen. Family life keeps Hampton grounded. He lives in the Chicago suburbs with his wife, Gina, and their blended family includes six children. His oldest son has followed his footsteps into sports broadcasting, occasionally co-hosting with his father. Between these three defensive titans, their current impact reaches far beyond football. Three successful foundations helping thousands annually. Over $1 million in scholarships, awarded four thriving businesses, employing hundreds, countless lives touched through mentoring, regular appearances at Bears events, ongoing community leadership roles. They might not be terrorizing quarterbacks anymore, but Singletary, Dent, and Hampton continue making game-changing plays in business, charity, and community service. Their legacy grows stronger with each passing year, proving that the monsters of the Midway never really retired. They just found new fields to dominate. The Super Bowl. Kicker, Kevin Butler. From splitting uprights to splitting business deals, Kevin Butler's post-NFL life kicks just as straight and true as his field goals once did. After hanging up his cleats, Butler returned to the University of Georgia in 2018 to complete his business degree, something he promised his parents four decades earlier. His business ventures scored big, Butler's insurance agency in Duluth. Georgia has grown into one of the state's most successful independent firms, but his real pride comes from watching his son Drew follow in his footsteps. Drew Butler didn't just become a punter, he earned All-American honors at Georgia and played six seasons in the NFL. Kevin's connection to Georgia football runs deeper than just family ties. Since 2021, he served as special teams analyst for the Bulldogs, helping guide them to back-to-back -back national championships. On game days, you'll find him in the coach's box, analyzing kicking situations and mentoring young specialists. The Olympic speedster, Willie Galt. Willie Galt didn't just run past defenders on the football field, he sprinted right into Hollywood. Since 1995, he's appeared in over 30 television shows and movies, including roles in The Game Plan and Vegas. His most recent appearance came in 2023 on the Netflix series Full Swing. But here's something amazing. At 63, Galt still holds master's track records in multiple age groups. In 2021, he set a new world record for the 60 to 64 age group in the 100 meter dash clocking 11.18 seconds. That's faster than many college sprinters. His training regimen includes daily workouts that would exhaust athletes half his age. Beyond acting and athletics, Galt's business savvy shines through. His health and wellness company, Sports X Factor, launched in 2022, focuses on natural supplements for senior athletes. The company partners with several former NFL players to promote active aging and fitness. Recently, Galt partnered with the Special Olympics as a global ambassador. He travels nationwide, using his platform to promote inclusion in sports. Speed never gets old, he often says at these events, and neither do dreams. This combination of Hollywood, athletics, and business keeps Galt constantly moving. Unlike many retired players, he maintains the same speed-focused lifestyle that made him a dual-sport threat during his playing days. In his own words from a 2023 interview, life after football isn't about slowing down. It's about finding new races to run. The lasting legacy. When modern NFL coaches draw up defensive plans, they're still reading from Buddy Ryan's playbook. The 46th defense might look different today, but its principles show up every Sunday. Take the 2023 Baltimore Ravens defense. They use similar pressure packages to lead the NFL in sacks. The 85 Bears didn't just change football, they changed Chicago forever. Look around the city today. Soldier Field's main gate carries Walter Payton's name, while Mike Ditka's face still sells everything from hot dogs to car dealerships. In 2023, the team's 1985 throwback jerseys outsold their current uniforms. Team reunions still draw crowds like rock concerts. The 2020 reunion livestream during the pandemic pulled in over 500,000 viewers. 
When they gather now, it's usually for a good cause. In 2023, a reunion event raised $1.2 million for former players' medical care. Their foundations continue growing. Combined, the charitable organization started by 85 Bears members provided over $3 million in community support last year alone. From Singletary's youth programs to dense education initiatives, they're still scoring big wins off the field. Today's Bears organization keeps the 85 team close. During every home game, at least one member of that legendary squad serves as an honorary captain. The team's practice facility features a massive mural of the 85 defense, reminding current players of the standard they're chasing. Many say the NFL will never see another team like the 85 Bears. Maybe that's true. No team since has combined such dominance with such personality. Their 15-1 record stands among the best ever, but their impact reaches far beyond numbers. Looking to connect with these legends today, many remain active in Chicago's sports scene. Mike Singletary runs youth camps throughout the year. Richard Dent frequently speaks at Bears events. Dan Hampton's radio show airs daily. Their stories continue evolving, proving that legends never really retire. They just find new ways to inspire. If you've enjoyed this journey through the lives of the 85 Bears, make sure you hit that subscribe button to catch more NFL legends, stories, share this video with a Bears fan in your life. Drop a comment below with your favorite 85 Bears memory. Remember, these aren't just stories from the past. They're blueprints for greatness that still matter today.